Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Madam Secretary, Mr. Devlin, good to see you. Uh, the last couple of years uh, during these hearings, we, we've discussed the infrastructure needs in our state parks and our state forests. Um, I was actually looking through notes from last year, and I think we were talking about an infrastructure need of a billion dollars for the, the, the park and forest system. Uh, and I know just, just, just from those notes, we were talking about growing greener, keystone funds, oil and gas, C2, P2. I mean, we were, we were trying to find ways to find uh, monies for you for these, for these needs. And I know uh, you talked about a little bit, but maybe you can enhance that description of, of enhanced PA, uh, Penn's Woods. Um, and, and describe what, what we're doing there in, in trying to attack that infrastructure need. Yeah, well, of course, as we said, with the additional $45 million and the decision to focus a lot of our funds into park and forestry infrastructure, it's a commitment from this fiscal year and next to really address the, the maintenance needs of parks and forestry. And one thing I'd like to talk about is our criteria moving forward to address those needs. And number one would be public health and safety. Number two would be regulatory issues where we need a permit or such to make something happen, such as a case of a dam. Fulfilling the core mission of DCNR, public use, demand, and fix it first. And you know, that, that billion dollar list was a snapshot in time. We've gone back a couple times and asked the two bureaus, all right, what, what is the universe? What is out there? And it generally runs between 950 million and a billion. And what we'll do is more aggressively address these needs in parks and forests. I can tell you, um, you did some great work at Promised Land State Park in my district. I'm very fortunate to represent that area. I mean, you, you fixed a high hazard dam, uh, you replaced a bridge, you put in a new sewer line and water line, you actually uh, built a whole new pot of cabins, uh, creating a, uh, you know, a different camping experience. And um, you know, just from the residents there and of course all the visitors who are now coming back, right. uh, they were very excited. Uh, they really like to see when the Commonwealth invests in ourselves. And they said, you know, for a number of years, they said, Mike, there's potholes there. I mean, not even talk about roads, but, but there, there are all these infrastructure needs. And they say, Mike, it's, you know, that, that's ours. That's our, that's our Commonwealth resource. And um, we really need to start investing there. So I, can, I, I, you know, I, I just want to let you know and, and, and say thank you for, for that effort. And I know um, from all the people who have approached me and said, you know, thank you for investing in yourselves. We really appreciate this experience. Uh, people are coming back again. It helps our local economies. And I know you talk about that a little bit, you know, the, the value of our park system as far as the local economies. But uh, look, uh, I'd also like to applaud the $200 million. I mean, trying to find a billion dollars here uh, last several years is very difficult. I mean, there's just, there's just, th th that number is very hard to find. And you were able to, you know, work and, and, and and put a number of different line items together to come up with that. And I, I just applaud you for coming up with $200 million and trying to attack that backlog. Uh, and like I said, most people in my area are so appreciative of that investment and, and really felt that we owe it to ourselves to invest in, in, in our resources. So thank you. Thank you.